Hey everybody, welcome back to Heat My Shorts. Hope your day's been going well. I've got a pepper to eat. This is a homegrown yellow seven pot brain strain. <laughs> Sounds like Maggie's getting up. <laughs> well, there she is. Maybe we'll have a hangout with you right now, actually, before I get hot pepper stuff on my fingers. Hey, do you want to have a hangout with you now? Is that what that is? Yeah? Or maybe it was something that I said. I really don't know what it, what it was that got you up in a hurry like that. Hey? <laughs> Did you just hear your camera start up and you... You know that you had to come say hello? Hey? You're a good dog. I'm gonna eat a pepper, Maggie. I wish I could eat... <laughs> Not eat. <laughs> I wish I could read my notes from here, but it's a little far away. <laughs> and it's a little bit in the shade, I suppose. In the shadows. What do you think? You're such a good girl. Um, okay, there we go. So, yellow seven pot brain strain peppers. I, the range that I could find on Google, and once again, there was quite a range, was between 1 million and 1.8 million Scoville heat units. So I'm not sure what the true tested range of the yellow brain strain is. I'm not sure what that one's going to clock in at, but I'm going to eat it. It's a little bit later in the day that I, for, for me to be eating peppers than I'd prefer. It's actually, it's after 8 p.m. That's, that's crazy. That's wild. <laughs> it's almost my bedtime. <clears throat> I would have preferred to eat this earlier in the day just to you know minimize the chance of capsaicin cramps late at night because I'm not a fan of getting cramps when I'm trying to sleep cramps at all is not fun but if it's cutting into my sleep time that's really not fun beautiful gnarly evil looking pepper I'm stoked to eat this I actually do have three of these that are ripe and I was considering eating three of them on the video this evening but it's just getting too late for me to be eating multiples and this is a good sized pepper and I got pretty lit up from those habaneros the other day so let's just stick to one pepper now that we're into the super hots. I hope your day's been going well. I had a very busy day actually. Um, productive. I got a lot done. Got some good progress out in the yard. Um, took a bunch of yard waste to the yard waste facility in town here. The car was full. Ooh. Hmm. This Looks like it could be quite a hot pepper. Um, let's see if I can get that sitting a little flatter because one side, yeah. Uh, there we go. Not sure how well you can see inside of that. And I also don't want to drop this. It's kind of <laughs> slipping out of my fingers a little bit there. I also didn't weigh this. I should have weighed this, but I didn't. I'm going to eat it though. My first homegrown yellow seven pot brain strain. It smells a little floral. Not my favorite. One more quick way to dilly dally and stall a little bit. This used to be my va very favorite pepper, but I wasn't very impressed with the taste of them, the homegrown ones last year. So hopefully they're better this year. Homegrown yellow. Seven pot brain strain pepper. Heat my shorts. Hmm.
<laughs> I'm not ready for this. quite hot it's quite hot very bitter very floral very hot for a flavor oh that was like a six out of ten he I'm at a seven out of ten for sure right now I was so hot, I was really going after the throat, big time. Roof of the mouth. Tongue, lips, it's everywhere. Throat, chest, stomach. My breath is hot. When I breathe out, it's hot. That was a really hot pepper. There's a lot of chewing. Yeah, I'm at a seven out of 10 on my heat scale. I don't wanna talk right now. I'm so glad I didn't try to eat more than one. Wow. I need to train on the habaneros a little bit more. Holy smokes, a very hot pepper. I don't know how many Scovilles that is, but that's hot. Probably gonna get some stomach cramps from that. Wow, the throat burn is, is wild. I'm sweating quite a bit. My body temperature, my head temperature has risen quite a bit. Oh, my eyes are watering, my nose is starting to run. Wow. Whoops. I think it's leveled at a seven. It's not decreasing. It's just like moving into the stomach. Okay, well, it'd be nice if I got a little endorphin rush from this so it would bring that heat level down a little bit. Not yet though. Just hovering around a seven. It's really burning the corners of the tongue now. Corners of the tongue, does that make sense? The sides. Tongues don't have corners. Not really. Wow. I should have eaten that little one. I still have that little one. I should have eaten that one. But then I would have felt compelled to eat more than one. I would have been in more trouble. I'm going to be okay. 
I want you to know that I'm going to be okay. Either way, even if I get stomach cramps, I'll be fine by the time this video is uploaded. Or by the morning, maybe. At the very worst. Well, my tolerance is low. I did know this because the habaneros hit me very hard the other day. Whew. Feels like I've been hanging out for like 20 minutes after eating that pepper. I think it's only been like five minutes. I'm not sure how long, but I think that's about it. I think we're all, all done here. <laughs> yeah, my heat now, I'm still seven. Still, no, maybe six and a half out of 10. It's maybe come down a little bit. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. And my first homegrown yellow seven pot brain strain pepper of the year. And wow, what a brain strain it is. I love you all. Bye bye.